hello kemi hand welcome back to another video and today we got some interesting jump force news um according to a lot of sources uh v jump has information on a free update for jump force which will include galena and kane as playable characters can you believe that galena and kane those are names i haven't heard in a long long time and i'll be honest with you guys when they were first announced to be playable I wasn't too excited simply because the characters just give me the vibe of Dragon Ball characters, you know, but ripoffs of, of certain characters. For example, Kane looks like Hit, Galena looks like an android if she was a mosquito with green skin, you know, and ice powers. I don't know. That's just how I felt. And I still feel like that. But because of DLC pack one, I saw the light. I know now that hype doesn't mean the character will be good. Hype doesn't really mean the character is worthy or not of being in the roster. So I'm going to calm down. You know, I'm not going to really roast these characters too hard. All I got to tell you is that I am excited to at least try them out and see if they can prove me wrong like Biscuit did. Because let's be honest, Biscuit did in fact prove me wrong. It, it was by far one of the most interesting turns i've seen in, in jump force where this character wasn't really exciting at all to look at um I, I wasn't really hyped for her but once i got to play and 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 see the move set and actually experience the game for uh, the gameplay of the character it was a different story right so i'm willing to give the same chance to kane and galena they're free so why not and uh the other thing that makes me excited about this is that you know, those of you guys that are willing to give Jump Force a try again, uh, will you know, will at least try to come back, even if it's just for a day or two. And of course, the other hope that I do have, the biggest hope, is that a patch comes out with this free update, fits in at least some of the issues. I'm not expecting, you know, Spike to throw out an update and, and, and fits every issue. I'm not even expecting them to come out with a patch at all, but I hope that, it, you know, if they do that, they at least fit some of the stuff you know that that's wrong with the game because it has turned a lot of people away from the game and i think it's about time we get some actual fixing done in the game right the other thing here that i'm going to mention is that i really want them to not give the move set of these characters to cac's because of obvious reasons cac is something that has been plaguing the game for quite a while now and just about everybody that uses a cac in this game at least on the rank setting uh they go out of their way to exploit whatever is broken so maybe giving them more moves so they can experiment with it's probably not the best idea that's just how i see it now i'm not saying that the moves for galena and kane are going to be broken uh, there's already gameplay out on youtube of it and you know you can make your own assumption based on that but at the end of the day i just don't want that possibility to be there right i don't want the possibility of there being a broken move that cscs can equip in the game you know at least another one because there's already many of of those that are already available so but regardless uh i'm gonna end the video here uh give me your take on on, on this announcement because i honestly was expecting uh for them to release the third and final character for dlc pack 2 uh this information for him uh, and we know it's gonna be a bleach character. Let's be real. It's gonna be a bleach character But I wanted I wanted to know what bleach character we're gonna be getting Grim Jow or Toshinori not Toshinori. What, what Toshido? I said Toshinori. That's that's all might. I'm weird. Anyways, I'm gonna end the video here. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm out. Peace